President Biden could end this crisis and prevent a war uh, with Russia by doing something very simple, guaranteeing that Ukraine will not become a member of NATO. Because if Ukraine became a member of NATO, that would put U.S. and NATO troops directly on the doorstep of Russia, which, as Putin has laid out, would undermine their national security interests. Uh, the reality is that it is highly, highly unlikely that Ukraine will ever become a member of NATO anyway. So the question is, why doesn't President Biden and, and NATO leaders actually just say that yes. and guarantee it? Which, which begs the question of, of why are we in this position then? Uh, if, if the answer to this and preventing this war from happening is, is very clear as day, and, and, and really it just points to one conclusion that I can see, which is they actually want Russia to invade Ukraine. Why would they? Because, number one, it gives the Biden administration a clear excuse to go and levy draconian sanctions, which are a modern-day siege against Russia and the Russian people. And number two, it cements this Cold War in place. Uh, you know, the, the military-industrial complex is the one that benefits from this. They clearly control the Biden administration. Warmongers on both sides in Washington have been drumming, drumming up these tensions. If, if they get Russia to invade Ukraine, then, uh, again, it locks in this new Cold War. And who pays the price? The American people pay the price. The Ukrainian people pay, pay the price. The Russian people pay the price. It, all you hear is like, well, we have to defend democracy. We have to defend this democratic country of Ukraine. But as you know 